हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्ट माय चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फ्रॉम दिस आई टैब यू कैन वॉच प्रीवियस वीडियोज टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द रिड्यूसिबल टू होमोजीनियस इन द कोची एलर इक्वेशन देर इज वन कॉन्सेप्ट वेर समटाइम्स द इक्वेशन इज नॉट गिवन अ होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन सो वी कैन रिड्यूस दिस टू ए होमोजीनियस टाइप यू विल थिंक दैट दिस इज ए कोची एलर टाइप लेट सी एन एग्जाम्पल If it is given like a plus b x to the power n, a plus b x to the power n minus one, it means this power is with d to the power n, and a constant is also involved. Whenever a constant is involved, we take it as t here. I explained first order, first degree homogeneous equation. You can check it through I tab. You can find the link in description. If it is dy by dx is equal to x plus y plus one upon two x plus two y plus three. Let's assume this is the question. I explained you how to solve this kind of question. It is x plus y, and take two common, then assume x plus y as t. So this equation will be reduced to homogeneous. Whenever there is a constant, we use this concept. The same thing needs to be done here as well, and the rest steps we were following with the homogeneous Cauchy-Euler equation needs to be done here as well. But you have to take it as t here. I will give you an example. For instance, this question is given. Now you know that if this d two y by d x square is x square. x dy by dx you know it's homogeneous but if a constant term is given what do we do when we get a constant we take the entire term t if in any equation if any function is repeated once or more than once we take it as t and then what we will do we will write let 1 plus x is equal to t this implies that dx is equal to dt when you consider this as t we will get t square d2y now the value of dx is dt so what will be dx square it will be dt square therefore this is t dy by dt in place of dx plus y and this will become equal to 4 cos log of t you can see that we get it homogeneous equation in t if we had a equation homogeneous in x remember if we had this type of equation given like x dy by dx in this what do we do we take x is equal to e to the power z it is t here so we will let t is equal to e to the power of z it will be z is equal to log t hence this is what you need to understand well now when we consider this then what we will get as the value of this term here the value of this will be the value of t square d2y by dt square the value will be d into d minus 1 into y and t dy by dt is equal to it will be dy so we will put this value here then it will be d into d minus 1 into y plus dy plus y is equal to 4 cos in place of log t we will get z so cos z we will simplify this So d square and minus d plus d will cancel out. Plus one into y is equal to four cos z. We will replace d with m, and this implies that m is equal to plus or minus iota. At this point, we will get y is equal to c one cos of z plus c two sine z. Hence, this will be the cf of the equation. Now we will find its pi and later replace z with its value. Right? when we find the pi what will we get this entire symbolic form will go to the denominator so y will be equal to 4 cos z divided by d square plus 1 wherever it is d square we will put the coefficient of this angle z its cos z is 1 we will square 1 and subtract it so minus 1 plus 1 equals 0 whenever this happens what do we do in that case we multiply by z and we differentiate below the derivative of d square will be 2d now we will integrate it and the integration we get of cos z so 1 by d of cos z it will be sin z and this 2 and 2 will cancel out so it will be 2 z into sin z this is its pi then the final answer we will get at this point it will be cf plus pi then y is equal to it will be c1 cos z plus c2 sin z plus 2 z into sin z and now in this wherever it is z we will substitute log t and next step it will be c1 cos log t right it will be log t c in place of z we will put log t right and this will become plus c2 sin log t from sin z plus this will become 2 log of t into sin it will become log t we will get this value now let me change the color so in place of t we will substitute 1 plus x as its value y is equal to c1 cos of log it will become 1 plus x and plus it will be c2 into sin log 1 plus x take this bracket like this to avoid any confusion so here it will become plus 2 into log of 1 plus x right as we will put 1 plus x in place of t right sin log 
1 plus x, right? So what did we get? We get this as the answer. This is how you can easily solve this type of question. Let's look at the next question. Here it is x plus 1 here as well. Now you might be thinking here x plus 1 is not given. So what do we do? You have to take x plus 1 as t. Then question will be solved very easily. Now we will write let 1 plus x as t. Then next we will get dx is equal to dt. Now substitute this value here. This will give us t square d2y by dt square plus t dy by dt plus sorry it will not be plus it will be equal we get 2 here now what is the value of x in this the value of x will be t minus 1 so i will put t minus 1 plus 3 right and here also we get the value of x what will it be t minus 1 and plus 4 right this will be the value we get now simplify this it will become t square into d2y by dt square plus t into dy by dt when we will simplify this, it will become 2t plus 1. Is it clear? And this will become 2t plus 2. Clear? Hence, this is the value we get. Now, what will we do here? And now, we will write, let, let's assume this. It will be better. I'll just multiply it and write it here. t square d2y by dt square plus t dy by dt. When we will multiply this, we will get 4t square, then 4t plus 2t equals 60. And then here we will get 2. Now we will write let t is equal to e to the power z or z is equal to log t. Because we have it homogeneous in t, now we know that the value of t square d2y by dt square, it is d into d minus 1, right? Into y and the value of t into dy by dt that we have as dy. What is the value of d? We know it is. d by dz, what we will do? We will put its respective value. So we will get d into d minus 1y plus dy is equal to 4. We will put t as e to the power z. It will be e power 2z as its t square plus 6 e to the power z and it is constant. So, it becomes 2. We will simplify this a bit as minus d cancels out with d. So, we will write it here and we will get d square y is equal to 4 e to the power 2z plus 6 e to the power z and a constant 2. So, I will put e to the power 0z. Now, first we will write the cf. So, wherever it is d, we will replace d with m in this equation. So, m square is equal to 0 implies m is equal to. We will get 0 and 0. So, what will be cf? The cf will be y is equal to c1 plus c2z into and it will become e to the power of 0z because 0 is the root here and it's a repeated root, right? Now, we will discuss the pi y equals to d square in denominator. So, we will get 4 e to the power of 2z upon d square plus 6 e to the power z upon, it will be d square, plus 2 e to the power 0 z upon d square, right? y is equal to, we will put 2 in place of d. It will become 4 and it will get cancelled. We will get e to the power 2 z. Now, we will put 1 in place of d because it is 1 here. If we put 1, it will become 1. So, 6 e to the power z. Now, we will put 0 in place of d. Whenever we put 0, then denominator becomes 0. So, we will multiply the numerator by z. What will we get below? We will get the derivative. Again, it will become difficult. So, y is equal to e to the power 2z plus 6e power z multiply above by z differentiate below. So, below it becomes 2. And here z square and you can see 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So, we will get z square e to the power 0z. Then the final answer will be cf plus pi. So, y is equal to c1 plus c2z e to the power 0z. We will solve this later plus e to the power 2z plus it will become 6 e to the power z plus z square e to the power 0z. So, y will be equal to this will be c1 plus c2 and here we will have log t. Because we put log t for z, so we will get this value and e to the power 0z does not matter. e to the power z is t, they are same. If we replace e to the power z with t, this will become t square plus 6t plus this z square will be replaced with log t, right? And it will become its whole square. Now, what we will do? Where it will be c1 plus c2 log t, so 1 plus x will be put there plus 1 plus x whole square plus 6 into it will be 1 plus x plus it will become whole square of log of 1 plus x. Now, this is the final answer. In this way, we can easily solve this type of question. Now, the next question. It's a good one. You need to solve it in the same way. You can see 3x plus 2 is repeating. We will take 3x plus 2 as t. 
If we take this as t, then we will get 3 dx equals dt. Now see, I will write this, when you will write this differential equation here, tell me how can we write it? We can write this as d2y divided by, so d2, y by dt, sorry, x square, and plus 3 into we will get this 3x plus 2, and this will be multiplied by dy by dx, here minus 36y is equal to, we will get 3x square plus 4x plus 1. Now what we will do? We will replace dx with dt, but it is 3 dx and dt. So what we will substitute in place of dx? I will put dt by 3. Now I will substitute this value here. This will become t square. This will be d2y by, the value of dx square will be dt square by 9 because it's square, so 9 will go above. Plus 3 into this will be t. This will become dy by dt by 3. So 3 will go to the numerator. So this will also become 9. Minus 36y here. And what will we get on this side? When we will consider this as t, then what will be the value of x? Its value will be t minus 2 upon 3. So if we put it here, we will get 3 t minus 2 upon 3 whole square and plus 4. t minus 2 upon 3 plus 1. We converted this to t completely. If we simplify this, we get 9 as common. t square d2 y by dt square plus t dy by dt. Minus it will be 4 y is equal to when we square it, it will become 9 below and 3 in numerator, so it will be 3 below. If we simplify it, it will become t square minus 4t plus we will get 4 and here plus this will be 4t minus 8 divided by 3 plus 3. I am sorry, it is plus 1 here. This is plus 1. Now we will take the LCM of this 3, right? Or let's take it later. Let's take the LCM in the next step. That will be better, right? Then next step, what we will do? We will write this as t square d2 y by dt square and plus t dy by dt minus 4y is equal to, if we divide by 9, it will become 1 by 9, right? Now take the LCM of 3, when we take the LCM, so it is t square minus 4t plus 4, plus 4t minus 8 and plus it is 3, we can see 4t will cancel out, 4 plus 3 is 7, so we will get its value as t square d2y by dt square plus t dy divided by dt and minus 4y is equal to, this 9 times 3 is 27, it becomes 27. And this will be left as t square minus 1, because here, on subtracting minus 8 from 7, we will get minus 1, it will be homogeneous in t. And we know that, we will let t is equal to e to the power z, or we take z is equal to log t. When we make this assumption, then we obtain the value of d2y by dt square, which is d into d minus 1, multiplied by y. The value of t dy by dt is dy that we get where d is equal to dz by dt. So now we will put this value. We will substitute this value here. You can see it will be d multiplied by d minus 1 into y and we will get here dy minus 4y is equal to. Now when we will put e to the power z. For t square, then we will get e to the power 2z minus 1 upon 27. Let's simplify this a bit. This dy will cancel out. So d square minus 4y is equal to 1 by 27 e to the power 2z, this is 1 here, so we'll write it as 0z to make it easy. We will put m in place of d, so m square minus 4 is equal to 0. It implies m will be equal to plus, minus 2, what we will do? We will write it's cf. So it's cf will be y is equal to c1 into e to the power 2z plus c2, e to the power minus 2z. Now we will find it's pi. y is equal to 1 upon 27 e to the power 2z upon d square minus 4. Sorry, it will be minus here, not plus. So it will be minus e to the power 0, z upon d square minus 4, right? y is equal to, wherever it is d, we put 2, so 4 minus 4 below becomes 0, this will be 27. Here also put 2 for d, it will be 4. And since this becomes 0 in denominator, so we will multiply z above. And it's differentiation in denominator, what we will put in place of d? If we put 0, then it will become minus 4. Then here, what will we do? y is equal to 1 upon 27. We will put 2 in place of d, it will become 4. So this will be z e to the power. 2z upon 4, minus minus plus, and in place of e to the power 0z. Put 1, the final answer will be cf plus pi. cf is y is equal to c1 e to the power 2z. Plus c2 e to the power minus 2z. 27 into 4 will be 108. Now we will get this as z e to the power 2z plus 1. Upon it will become 108. We had taken t as e to the power z, right? So e to the power 2z will become t square, right? 
So t square in place of a power to z, it will be c 1 t square plus c 2 upon t square because it is minus and plus it will be log of z here and this will come t square plus 1 upon 108. Now wherever it is t, we will put 3x plus 2. There is not much space left on this side. Still I will try to write it here. So y is equal to, we get c1. This will be 3x plus 2 whole square plus c2 upon the whole square of 3x plus 2 and it will be log 3x plus 2 into whole square of 3x plus 2 plus 1 upon it is 108. This will be the answer and this is how this question will be very easily solved. This question is for the comment box. Here x plus 1, x plus 1 is repeating. So you can assume this as t and solve very easily. So this question can be solved. There are four options given. Which option is correct? Please let me know. And share its answer and how much time did you take to solve it in the comment box. The 2.0 of the differential equation, I mean the new videos I am uploading. Its complete playlist is available here. The older playlist is available here. And my new channel where I upload good content on CSIR, GateNet, IIT Jam. You can subscribe to it. You can follow me on Instagram from here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Press the notification bell so that you all receive notifications for the upcoming classes. Thank you so much.